and I've made it completely unrelated of the shoulder top with it. I don't know why I do that. And I wanted to make the third one, but I had to stop myself and like concentrate on the plans that you've made and told people um, on YouTube. What are you doing? So I had to listen to myself and just crack on with my plans, you know? I, I am aware I might come across as a crazy person, but that's okay. Because in my head, I know it's not true. I'll change it. I'll change it. I'll change it. Say, I'll change it. Hi, everybody. This is Love and Orchids. My name is Elisa, and I'm back with a short ish, hopefully. Um, little video on what I got this month plus a little bonus of my knitting I just need to tell you this straight away that I'm first and foremost a sewing enthusiast so sewing is my first passion and knitting it comes and goes at the moment um, I pulled out all my knitting projects that I started last year and I finished two of them already I just need to uh, cut the loose threads <laughs> but um, I will show you I will show you them today and I will model them for you maybe in the next video because I have one more in the, two more in the making so let's start with the knitting get that out of the way and then we'll talk about sewing so my first finished project is a project kit from we are knitters and it was a lemon tea and it came with a cotton, 100% cotton yarn. Um, so this is it. Um, so obviously lemon, the name lemon tea inspired me to go for yellow. This is not exactly my yellow. I thought it was more lemony, but it just kind of gravitates towards true yellow. I think I'll still wear it. I tried it on yesterday. Um, I pieced it together. I tried it on and you know, it is quite short, but if I wear something high waisted, I think it should be fine. We'll see. The jury is still out on this one. Um, but it's my, f it's my finished project. Um, I know Angela from, um, Devon Thread Tales actually have just gotten herself a this lemon tea kit I think it was in grey and the moment I saw it I was like oh my god I'm, I finished mine why don't I just put it together and have it done so thank you Angela <laughs> for inspiring me to finish my um, lemon tea so this is what it looks like on the front it has the cute little gathered stitches and then in the back is just like a plain plain stitch and then you just knit two squares and you piece it together at the shoulders and on the sides and you thus leaving um, an opening for your arms and, and your head so that's that's it um like i said i will take it on take it on what are you on <laughs> i will model it for you in the next video i'm not in a modeling mode today i'm just in a showing mode today my next finished project is made of drops air yarn from the gornstudio.com I'll put the links below anything I mention is going to be in the links below so this sweater um, I think it's just super cute it's just I'm so glad I finished it this is the last project I've started and the first project I've finished I made it in a size medium now thinking about it I should have made it in a size small because it's quite you know um stretchy and um the sleeves are a good length. The sleeve's just a straight sleeve with a ripped cuff. It was supposed to have a shorter neckband and I just extended it and then I folded it on itself. And it's just really quite cute actually <laughs> when I put it on. So all I need to do on this one is just tie in all the loose, all the loose bits and um, tidy it up. And then I've already kind of blocked yesterday this part of a sleeve and what I've learned you know I'm not a knitter professional in any form mm, so I'm learning the terminology as I go now and especially because I learned knitting 
in Ukraine when I was a little girl and so I knit continental style as well which is different from the UK style so I think some of the videos on YouTube for example are not very helpful to me because they show it and then in a different way and the garment is the knit like in a different direction to what I'm used to um, if you guys are interested I can make you like a little video of what it looks like when I'm knitting um, so I don't know where I'm going with this oh yes learning terminology as I go so blocking is when you finished knitting a garment and you put it flat onto something soft like a towel or I used my ironing board and you pin it to the dimensions that it's supposed to be but not stretching it out of shape but literally just putting the edges where you want them to be because they curl um, most of the times and so then you spray it with water this is for wool you spray it with water and then you leave it to dry and then when it dries it becomes flatter and it takes the shape that it's supposed to have that's my interpretation of it anyway um, so yes so I think this sweater is going to be in my mini capsule collection actually for my January mix because it goes oh my god it's so well with stuff that's in there another thing um, I've started is I started yesterday I don't know why I started a sock <laughs> Um, so this is the top of a sock, this is going to be your heel and then so this is your leg, it's going to come out here and um, this yarn, I only had two skeins and um, I'm afraid I might not have enough to finish these two socks and um, I looked it up yesterday and I thought I'll just get a couple of more or like one more and it's been discontinued, what is that all about? I'm just gonna do my best to try and finish it but what I'm gonna do if I don't have enough yarn I have one skein one for each sock so I'll just knit one for as long as it lasts me and then if it's not enough I'll just finish it with another yarn and I will do the same to the second sock and that way they will be like similar um, so I might have a couple of couple of little bits of yarn like of a there's so many colors in the air. I'll definitely find something to like complement it with so anyway this is my project this is coming on really really quickly and I'm knitting it on five needles I put it on these safety pins for a minute because as I'm handling I didn't want my knitting to fly off and get lost and lose the stitches so um but when I started it it was like four needles and then I was knitting with the fifth one around that's how I've been taught anyway that's what I know I'm sure there are different ways and I am a member of Crafty and Crafty has oh my god so many classes for knitting and I went on there and I, I went I looked at I picked start again oh my god calm down Elisa <laughs> get so excited <sighs> breathe I went on Craftsy looking for knitting classes and I found so many I liked so I did myself a couple of notes and um, I will be listening to them one of them is on finishing um, one of them a couple of on knitting the socks different socks and one of them is to choose the patterns to apply to the plain garments that you choose to make so that's that's coming and that will go with so many cozy cozy thingies I'm gonna make sewing wise another project I'm nearly done with is a buffalo cardigan from we are knitters so that came in as a kit as well it wasn't cheap I think it was after the new person discount and after another some sort of discount there you cost me like a 80 pounds or something and I think the full price was like over £100. It's not cheap buying from Weir It Is, but what I love about it is you got everything you need. So it comes in the bag and you've got all your yarn in there, you've got your needles, you've got your pattern, you've got your label, you know, and you're just good to go. You literally just buy that one thing and you're done, you know, you just make it. So, yes, um, I'm finishing that up. I'm having a bit of a trouble with the neckband. 
and a front band but I will talk about it when I finish it probably tell you if you're interested I don't know if you're sewing guys if you're interested in knitting let me know <laughs> or would you rather me do like a separate video for knitting which is not going to be that often I, I'm literally just talking about it because I got all my stuff finished um, or finishing so anyway last thing my next project is going to be made with drops air and this gorgeous dusky pink color I just love this color it's just so pretty um, I bought quite a lot of this yarn because I wanted to make like a very long cardigan with pockets and big sleeves but since then I looked and I already have this buffalo cardigan that I'm gonna finish and I have my shop bought like a white fluffy cardigan and I said maybe I should just make a sweater so I have a couple of ideas and these are the three patterns that have been specially designed for this yarn so if you go to garnstudio.com I'll put the link in and you just search for the yarn that you want um, you just have like three pages of three patterns and I'm just a bit spoiled for choice <laughs> I have a couple um, I will Put them on a screen i don't remember for the life of me what they're called so i'll put one on the screen here and one on the screen here and you tell me which one you think it's gonna look nice nicer um mind you this is a very fluffy yarn it's very lightweight it is not itchy i'm the itchiest person in the world like for like scratchy fabrics and scratchy that's not a nice thing to say about myself <laughs> i tried on my blue sweater made of the same yarn the other day and I'm not feeling anything like it's warm but um it's not it's not scratchy it's amazing um I'm thinking after this one I might get myself a white or off-white yarn oh, and make something with cables to die for um and another thing is I was watching um assembly self-assembly required um and in there oh my god <laughs> girl oh my god so on self assembly required I've seen this amazing sweater that she made with a pattern from Ravelry and yarn from Rico from the top of my head I can't tell you what it was called but I am absolutely going to steal that idea. I think I left a comment and I said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make the same sweater, but with a different color. And um, on Ravelry, it has, it has pearls, pearls on it. It's like a lacy, beautiful lace pattern and it's got pearls on it to die for it's just so up my street so i think after this one perhaps i just do cables to kind of get my experience up a bit and then after that one i will do probably already for the next winter i will do that ravelry one yes thank you for the idea oh god this month i only have Four new fabrics which is unthinkable for me I usually have packs and I don't tell my boyfriend <laughs> you know it's so funny because he hasn't realized yet when I'm washing fabric and ironing new fa fabrics he doesn't realize they're new I don't know what he thinks he just thinks I'm probably just randomly ironing my fabrics I already have I don't know it just didn't quite connect in his head so um, which is good, it's good because I get told off sometimes when he's in the house and the package arrives he's like oh you've been shopping again I'm like no 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 he's like yeah yeah I can see you have too much fabric you need to get rid of some I'm like no 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 <laughs> um, mind you I need to get rid of I need to get rid of some fabric and I was wondering actually if you could advise me if I wanted to do that do people do that on Facebook um, or Instagram I've seen somebody do now on Instagram, I'm not quite sure, but I think I would have about, I don't know, up to 10 pieces that I would be willing to let go of and I would literally just sell them for whatever price and I don't know, plus postage, I don't know how it works really. Do you guys know? Can you just let me know 
in the comments or drop me a message or something. Um, I'd be quite grateful for that. Thank you. So my four fabrics are three of them are viscose shelly. <laughs> Oh, one day I'll burn out on this one. So these two are from Minerva. Number one. What can I say? It's sage color with little, little turquoise little bits and it kind of looks like animal print, but it kind of also looks like um, like an army, like a, what's it? You know, when they hide and you cover yourself. I'm doing this again, aren't I? Um, but there is a word for it. There is a name for it. I will look it up. Um, anyway, so this is quite thin actually. I'm thinking of getting a wilder gown pattern and just making this out of it. What do you think? Or shall I make some loose trousers and, and the top just to lounge in the house in? I don't know. What do you think? And the next one from Minerva is, oh my god, I'm so in love with this. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so silky and buttery and just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I just want to, I just want to take a bite out of it. <laughs> it's, I'll probably cut this out as well. Um, but yes, and I love the color. Um, I just don't know. It's, I think it's going to be one of those precious precious fabrics I don't know what to do with it I'm just gonna love it I'm just gonna stroke it take it out of my stash and just like hold it and then put it back in yeah cuz I'm never gonna cut into this I don't know what to make with it I just love it so much maybe a shirt dress I look gorgeous as a shirt dress and maybe I should just put in a like a black collar on the outside black collar and black cuffs I think you look quite chic. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. What do you think? And the last two fabrics are from Stop and Still. This goes Shally. Ta da! Love it. Love it. For every day, like an everyday little shirt dress or wrap dress or something, something with a maybe big puffy sleeve. Hmm. I just love the colors and the good thing is I already have shoes of this color it might make its way into my next month's mini capsule which I'm already kind of planning and the last fabric is again from stuff and still and it is gorgeous organic cotton I think it's gonna be an expensive house lounging set of house lounging set Oh, I think it's time for me to just like finish up here. All right, we'll finish up soon. So anyway, three meters of this. What do you reckon? I don't have hats and pants. I want to get hats and pants. I've seen, I've heard, and I want it. Um, so hats and pants, and and what's on top? I've got Astoria by Seamwork. That could be good if I lengthen it a little bit. What else have I got? I have to I have to go through my Berta style magazine collection. I love Berta style designs. I just don't like tracing it, and I don't even mind tracing. Yeah, tracing is not because mm, you can't barely see what you're tracing um, because so many patterns on the same page. But what I don't like is adding the seam allowance. Ugh. <laughs> Boring, right? But maybe it's worth it. Maybe I should look. Oh, I need to tell you quickly on the progress of my mini capsule collection. So I've made the cardigan. I've made a one top off the shoulder top, which is freaking awesome. And as if that was enough, I made another off the shoulder top with not even with the fabric from that I chose. Really cute, like a stripy top. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna wear it to my next video. You're gonna love it. And I'm almost done making, finishing up carry trousers by Silverets. And you know what? This could be my like most favorite trouser pattern of all times. Yeah, I made it from like a matte satin. 
it's so luxurious so gorgeous i can't wait to finish it and just like try it on properly with a with a uh, waistband i've made the trousers which only took me a meter and a half and now i still have three meters of that fabric left like what do i do with it because i wanted to make a small top but that would be like a meter meter and a half tops what do i do with the other with what i don't know shall i just put it aside and just make that top and shut up about it and just make those two things or shall i make like a dress or like a kimono maybe i don't know but then my idea of wearing it together is gonna go out of the window hmm Mm. I do not have to have a think about it. So yes, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Winning. Okay, so, so that will be it. Um, thank you for those who returned to watch me babble again. Um, and thank you for the new people who came to check me out. If you like my videos, you know what to do. I hope you're having a nice week and I will see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.